Okay, so we are here for progress review meeting number four for IBMC cohort four. Today is 31st July 2021. So I'm still trying to confirm that uh, Mutal can hear me and I can hear him. So I've spoken with uh, Wumi, Fire, and uh, but I'm not sure Mukhtar can hear me. Mukhtar, can you hear me? Okay, I think let me. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now, Paul. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so we are four. Without much ado, because uh, without much ado, let's take off, please. The meeting is in two parts. Uh, part one will be round robin, and part two will be the uh, what I call the last lessons, just small pep talks on keep learning, reinvent yourself, and creating an irresistible offer. All right, so uh, uh, Fire Williams is in, in a place she cannot talk, so I will not invite her to contribute. But uh, let's start with uh, Mukhtar. Mukhtar. Yes, sir. Let's jump straight to part one. Um, uh, round Robin is just for us to share uh, our wins, our wins and challenges and uh, uh, suggestions for the future. So without much ado, I want to call you, just share everything. We have been on the IBMC round four for um, six weeks. Um, this is seven week. Next week will be eight weeks, and uh, we we'll end. We are actually ending next Saturday. So so yeah. far, uh, I want your contribution. Are you better off having joined the IBMC than you were before? And what has been the challenges? What are your wins? And so on and so forth. So just share for one minute. Okay. Well, uh, good evening, all. Good evening. Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, let me thank you, uh, Paul, for inviting me into this uh, wonderful uh, team. Uh, to, to say actually that I'm better off than uh, before I joined is an understatement. I quietly learned a lot. And uh, I believe I'm going to achieve a lot. And for me, it's a, it's a kind of paradigm shift. It has changed my life. It has given me more hope than I, I used to have before. Uh, as I said to, as I said earlier during one of the meetings, that uh, the major challenge for me is uh, more of, is personal. That is to make uh, uh, this uh, as a, a, to a top priority in my uh, daily do uh, daily to, uh, to do list. Uh, which I've been trying and I'm succeeding and succeeding. Uh, so far, I I don't have more challenge, but I'm looking forward very, very hopefully. I believe I'm going to achieve a lot and I'm going to influence a lot of people. And uh, I'm very sure, I'm very optimistic that you always be there to guide me. And this is the most uh, powerful educational uh, uh, thing I've come across. And to me, it's, it's simply uh, a key to get it rich. Uh, all I need to do is to learn aggressively, as you always said, and then be very, very patient. Always remember your, your words in the early, uh, during the early uh, stages. That is, uh, forget about the money for now. Money is not the first thing. And I'm try, I have succeeded in internalizing that. Uh, you always uh, said we should focus on building our own list. Well, uh, briefly, actually, I'm not prepared. Actually, I didn't know you're going to ask me this, but uh, <laughs> this is uh, just briefly my little contribution on this thing. But it has done much more than what I have said. Uh, it has done to me. It has done much more than what I said. And uh, I want to say thank you, Paul, very much. And uh, I thank God that uh, you crossed my path. And uh, while actually it's the most uh, profitable uh, venture I've ever uh, ventured in, 
actually. Uh, thank you very much for. All right, so Mutar, thank you for that feedback. So in all, you firmly affirm that yes, the training has been impactful and uh, yes, you have met the, the, the first steps. It's a, it's a journey. And as we say, journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. The most important, most difficult is always the first steps. And as we move into the journey proper, it becomes easier and easier and easier. So I want to thank you for that feedback. And without much ado, let me call um, let me call Wumi. Wumi, are you there? Yes, I'm Please. here. Yes, share with us your your tech with the program so far. Okay. Um, good evening, every, everybody. Good evening. I I really want to thank you, uh, Mr. Paul, for. Um, uh, doing this thing for us, at least uh, because of the monitoring. I'm really thanking, I really thank him for that. The training has really exposed me, at least uh, for, I think there are some things that I believe that I know initially, but during the course of the training, I'm able to know that uh, I still need to work harder. Then I'm better off for now. I'm better off than before, before the before I joined the IBMC. Then the only thing that I that is giving me that look like the challenge to me is that um, I don't presently I don't have a product or service at least in line to apply all these things. But I'm working had to have a product so that I'll be able to use all the concepts that I've known through the, the training to apply it. And I know that uh, once I, I, I have the service, I have the product, I will be able to get more and more experience. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Paul. All right, Wumi, thank you for that feedback. Um... Somebody's in the waiting room. All right, uh, let me see who that person is. Okay, I just know who he said it's. I don't know who it is. All right, fire is naturally in a, an, a, an event and cannot speak. So, um, who is it? Please, can you say who it's? It's is it ID? Yes, ID is here. Good evening. ID. ITS. Okay. ID, you're welcome. So we are just sharing. We are on part one, round robin. Round robin. Okay. So we're asking, Mukhtar has spoken, Wumi has spoken. So uh, fire is have, in the environment. She cannot I, speak. So I want to call on uh, ID to speak. Uh, the issue is simply how have you fed? How has, uh, has, uh, um, what is your take on IBMC? Has it? Are, are you better off today than you were before you joined the? Just share with us. I did. I actually have battery problem, but I think I'm I'm faring better. I gain more knowledge through this. Hello? Yes, we we'll go ahead. Uh, yes. And I'm sure by the end of this program, I'll be much better than I, I was when I started. OK. Is that only you have to share? You have a problem with your phone battery? Hello, ID. Hello, ID. Hello, I think I'm having issues, but I'll be fine. Okay, okay. All right, Hello? You, have, you have one minute, so you spoke my only, only five seconds. Hello? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So um, whenever, when, when the situation improves, you can contribute more. Let's jump straight to part two. As people join us, we'll, we'll, we'll pivot back to part one. I mean, asking them to speak. So far, we have five of us. And uh, let's jump to part two. You know, part two has um, three, uh, what I would just call three pep talks, keep learning, reinvent yourself, create and create an irresistible offer. So that's what I'm going to speak about. As keep learning, it's a, it's a mantra. Um, it's a mantra that you must internalize. Yes, there's no other way to succeed in this business without keep uh, learning. Conferences, events, uh, webinars, and so on and so forth. Just yesterday, uh, two days ago, I subscribed to Alan Ways, what he calls global, uh, global, uh, uh, global consulting is a is a is is a trademark or is a, yes trademark is million dollar consulting or his brand name million dollar is a million dollar consultant so he has what he called the global edition is he has been selling it and uh, he has three options so I bought the option one for ninety five dollars global edition of million dollar consulting just how to position yourself as a, a consultant that the world reckons with so it's the day you stop learning the day you start to retrogress it's as simple as that so that is keep learning i even Mukhtar started with that yes keep learning because things change so dramatically so fast so if you stop learning for even two weeks you just find out that you have um, been sidelined so even after we are ending uh, IBM C4 uh, next week, so even after that, you just have to be in the IBM C community and uh, not necessarily only IBM C community, any community that will take you further, you have to be there and keep investing in learning. All right. And then I said, reinvent yourself. You cannot remain where you are and expect, expect, any uh, spectacular progress. So keep reinventing yourself. How do you reinvent yourself? There are so many things you need to do. You need to push yourself in such a way that you become a go-to person. You become a trusted advisor that people will say, please, get me that guy. Give, give me Paul. It's not something that will fall on your laps. You have to do it intentional. You have to be inten in, 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 intentional. You have to be intentional about it. Keep doing it. I personally, after I, I you know, you, you are for those that are very close to me, I left banking 10 years ago and I, I immediately, well, not immediately, I've always uh, just made up my mind that I would not go back to a paid employment. I made up my mind. I had offers from several banks, please come and work for us. I said, no, I rather work for myself. And it, it, uh, it, uh, for me, I believe that I has paid off because the company I started 10 years ago is um, gradually, gradually getting acceptance, getting brand recognition. And uh, personally, I'm making progress. So I always reinvent, reinventing myself, always trying to say, what can I add? What can I do? And reading books, uh, attending. There are so many free webinars, but do not just uh, jump to the free ones. Look at the ones that we have. Will will have um, will have massive impacts. Will have massive. Will push you massively. Will have exponential impact. Do not just look for uh, the ones that will just have a, a, a additive. One plus one will be two. No, look for ones that will make you better off ten times. Ten times. In fact, uh, just recently, I, I ran into the book, 10, the 10, 10 times rule, and uh, I'm reading it. So that is what I want to say. Keep reinventing yourself. As uh, Brenda Butcher said, there are only two things that will impact us. We, on new things coming to us or old things get out of us. Those new things are the trends, we need to catch the trends, know what is happening out there by being in the community of learners. If you just step aside, the world will just leave you behind. How do you keep learning? Come out, 
Come out boldly, daily. Yes, start something. Start your podcasts. Start your, your YouTube channel. Start something, okay? Of course, something inside you will keep saying, ah, you are not ready, you are not ready. That's the, what they call the imposter syndrome. Tell imposter syndrome, stand aside. You are not going to be perfect tomorrow. You are not going to be perfect even next week. But you just have to start. Because the more you do it, the more gradually you become, uh, you, the, 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 the more you become uh, confident in yourself, the more you become more acceptable to your community. You are not selling to everybody. You must choose the people you want to serve. Which area, which niche do you want to be known for? So you must choose a niche. Like Wumi says, uh, I don't really know. I don't have a product and so on. Of course, I will speak with Wumi and will review his, the areas that he will likely succeed. You cannot succeed in all the areas. You have to niche. And then there's even what they call, what they call super niche. Look at, look at different, different niches that you have passion for. Some niches that even you would like to help people in that niche for free. Those are niches that you have good passion for. So do not wait until you are perfect. Come out boldly. And then another thing I said, blow your, th uh, your horn. If you do not blow your horn, who is going to blow for you? Yes. One of the assignments we gave or I gave at the very beginning was write a small, write a 500 page, a 500 word a article, write a, a, so that is just a, a kind of telling you what to do. You have to blow your horn. How do you blow your horn? Contribute, contribute to online uh, article aggregators. If you do not, if you are not the type, if you do not like the writing thing, contribute to to discussions. Get uh, involved in uh, discussion groups. There are so many discussion groups online. So find one that you 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 be uh, you 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 you'll be able to contribute convincingly. Do not just go there and be an observer. Contribute. Yes. Something inside you will keep saying, oh, you are not ready. That's the, what we call the imposter syndrome will raise its ugly head. Keep it down. Tell the imposter syndrome, stand aside. I, I'm ready. I, I'm, I, I know what I'm talking about. Yes. So it is, in fact, I remember that the first day I, I did my first uh, uh, video online. Honestly, I didn't know. <laughs> I was so, I, it's like, was if, if the camera is going to bite me. That is the type of fear one has. The very first, I'm talking about uh, 2000 and, uh, 2014 or so when I did my first uh, video uh, for YouTube. It was like, if the camera is going to bite me. And but since then, today I sit down and record within, I, I, you know, so it is as you are starting, you have, uh, you have these uh, butterflies in your stomach. Then tell the butterfly, fly in, fly in a, let them fly in a, uh, how do you, we say it? They, they should fly in good formation, all right? And then I said, shake social media. Shake social media. Yes, you have to choose three. You have to choose three. After the three, which one do you want? You just have to be on Facebook. So learn how to do Facebook Live. Even though uh, you you might, even me, I don't know how to do Facebook Live. But one of our students, uh, Fumi, uh, Fumi uh, Modupe, is very good. I, I talked to her to show me how to do Facebook Live. Yes. Get members of the IBMs. We are 92 of us. Get to know who is who. And we have a, an email list of everybody. We have phone numbers of everybody. Get to talk, talking to people. Get be active on our uh, IBMC alumni group. And there are a lot of people, when once we finish IBMC, they retire to their, <laughs> they retire to their whatever. And that is not the best. That is not good enough. So. Check social media, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Those are the three. Of course, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is, if you are really uh, in the space, you maybe you are looking for to connect with people in uh, employment, high, high net worth people in employment. Of course, you can also be on LinkedIn. But, but if you are the shy type, if you are the shy type, maybe Instagram might not be for you. Maybe uh, YouTube might not be for you. But, when you are in your house, you can record videos. Nobody's looking at you. So you can, you can do YouTube, all right? 
But no matter how, how shy you are, you can do Instagram. It's not as if you are going to go and you start dancing like TikTok. Yes, but just need to pick three out of the multitude of uh, social media platforms. Choose three, all right? And contribute. In fact, somebody wrote uh, that if you can write something, you can write something every day for 365 days, you will never starve in your life. I, I even got a, an email, not an email, a, a, yes, an email from Russell Bronson, just reminding me about that just uh, today, that if you post every day for one full year, you will never lack bread in your cupboard or in your pantry. I think that is uh, what uh, uh, Russell Bronson sent to me today, that if you post every day, choose a platform, choose a platform and post. I know that uh, FW does a, a lot of uh, radio talk shows and uh, she's also benefiting from it. Okay, so those are just the, 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 the three things I, I, want, I, I wanted to share with you in terms of coming out boldly, coming out the three things I said, keep learning, reinvent yourself, and then finally, creating irresistible offer. Creating irresistible offer is something that uh, we all need to learn. Is it? Um, let me call uh, Mukhtar. Mukhtar, can you still see the screen, please? Hello, Wumi. Yes, Paul, I can see the screen. Okay, all right. So when we say irresistible offer, I'm sure that uh, people always wonder, how do we create these irresi irresistible offers? So I want to share with you for the, I think for the first time, even though I share with the people in IBM C3, this is how to create an, your offer is regarded as, I mean, if something is like what you see on the screen there, 1.32 million, 1.32, all right? 1.32 and I say, okay, pay 75,000. What you pay is 75,000. 75,000 is, if you do the arithmetic, is less than 10%. Let me just uh, have my calculator here. 75 divided by 132. It's just, uh, you are paying just uh, 320. You are paying just 5.6%, something that is worth 1.332 million. 1.32 million. You are paying just 5%, not even of the 10%, you are paying just 5%. So, it's, it's, it, it, it's very unlikely people will say no to this type of offer. If you, if you have chosen the right, if you have chosen the right audience, if you have chosen the right audience. So the, the formula is that your offer should, you should, the, the value of your offer should, should be at least the price or how do I even uh, put it? Whatever you're offering should be not more than, not more than 10% of the total value. Should not be more than 10%. Like this particular one is only 5.6%, 5.6%. So you have to think, you have to think about your IP, your intellectual property. What are the things that you can do, you can give to people that they will really appreciate? Don't forget, first, as, as I keep saying, the most important thing is your list. And that list, you have to, it's not everybody, it's not everybody that you need on your list. It's people that can benefit from your advice, from your training, from your, from your ideas. Those are the people you should, you should invite into your list. And you have to, the methods, we have, to, uh, we have covered them before, the methods you need to use. It's not everybody. So you have to choose your list, your, the people, your target market very, very carefully. If you choose your target market very carefully and then you now come up with products, you should be able to offer something that they would not say no. Look at what I have here. Look at what I have here in my own offer. If you add everything together, of course, all these things I'm saying is what people have asked me. Yes, if I said, will you be willing to do this? IBM C core course for six weeks, lifetime, you have lifetime access. I said, assuming, 
I was selling this course in the open market. Six weeks course, if you divide 225 by six weeks, um, you see by six, you see that is almost, because we do, we do even a one day, one day event for 20,000. So one day event for 20,000, one day event, one day virtual event, 20,000. But this one is six weeks. Six weeks is six times, six times, uh, okay, how many days? If you multiply, if you, if you divide that, even if you divide by, by six, that is, you are only paying 37,500 per week, only 37,500 naira per week. And divided by, if you divide it further by this thing, you see that it is a very, very good offer. And then, of course, there's also the IBMC, which is two weeks. In fact, IBMC should have come first for in this, uh, in this, uh, in this list. Okay, IBMC. Uh, sorry, IB. No, it's, this is IBFC. IBFC. Sorry, this is IBFC. IBFC. IBFC is supposed to come first. All right. There's a two weeks also lifetime access. If you divide um, 125, 125 by, by two, all right, 62, that's 62 pay, 62 K per week. We realize we do one day, uh, one day, which is normally three hours, four hours, uh, this thing for 20,000. So you see that is a very good value. And then there's a publishing uh, program that I have, which I call, is a personal coaching that you can launch, write, publish, and launch your book in 90 days. I have people that have paid for that course, 175,000. I mean, paid cash, people pay cash. I have people that have paid cash for that. And then the book writing clinic, which I've been doing, I've been doing book writing clinic since 2015. I have so many people that have paid uh, 25,000, more than 120 people have paid, all right? It's normally a full day course. Full day, we give breakfast, we give lunch, all right? So this one is lifetime access. And what I mean lifetime access means that you have access to me as a person, you can call me. Don't forget, this is like an introductory offer. Uh, along the line, it might not be, you might not have life. When I mean lifetime, that you, you will not be able to reach me, all right? And so on and so forth. Maybe I have to increase the price because if you can reach me, it's like I'm more or less coaching, all right? And then access to post member only monthly webinar. That monthly webinar is for you to join it is 20K. For you to join that webinar is 20k. So if you you are there for 12, 12, 12 uh, uh, months, that's for one year, 240. All right. So, and then lifetime membership of private Facebook group. Yes, if you have created the book, the Facebook group and make it very, very uh, appealing that if people come, they will always learn new things. People, there will be people willing to pay. I mean, 10k, if you divide 10k now, dollar is a uh, Dollar is, uh, as I yesterday, dollar was 520 naira per dollar. So you, 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 you see that, you see that 20K is just $19, $19. 20, if people do dash people $20 and $100. So it's just to us that this is, is almost at a giveaway, just $19 per month, $19 per month, all right? So, and then lifetime membership of um, one is IBMC. One is IBFC. I think uh, IBFC, F, F and MC, which was a mix up there. All right. Six, uh, five listing. And then lifetime access to experience. And experience and is a membership site, which I, I, I'm just about to launch. And I said, okay, 25K. All right. So you can learn a lot. The videos there, a podcast there, and so you just pay 25k. 25k, you can also divide it by 25,000. Divided by 520, for instance, as yesterday, that's just $48 for a month. $48 for a month. $48 for a month. If you divide it by 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 $48. Forty-eight dollars divided by thirty. That is a month. It's, it's just about the one dollar per day, which is one dollar sixty cents per day, which is almost at at a giveaway. And then I say, if you do that, 
uh, and then you have some uh, very, very powerful thing to offer, then you can, we can do JVs together, what you call joint venture partnership together, which is priceless. I didn't put a price there. So and then I, I got the total 1.32 million. And I said, for this purpose of this, I'm only charging 75K. So you can see that the value is irresistible. Somebody that has been looking for something like this will definitely jump for it. Will definitely jump for it. 75,000 for something that is worth 1.32 million. People will jump for it. There are people in IBMC that have paid 75,000. How many people in IBMC have paid 75,000? Yes, they paid 75,000. And I'm giving the whole of this for 75,000. So people who know the value will jump for it. That's how you, you create an irresistible offer. So you have to think, what do I know? Do what I call knowledge audit. Do knowledge audit. Everything you have ever done. Is there anything you have ever done that you can convert to products? How can you make it attractive? That is, what you, that is what you need to think about. How can you make it attractive? And by the time you know it, you'll be, able, you, you, you'll be surprised, you'll be amazed at the, 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 the products you have, uh, gathering dust in your drawers. So just do a knowledge audit. Everything you have done in the past, you can always repurpose them into products. And don't forget, we say that you don't have to be 100% better than your students. You, you just have to have the 10% age, the 10% age. Don't forget that. So that's what I wanted to share for today. And uh, then in summary, I said the bottom line. The bottom line is that you must have 10,000 subscribers. That is for long-term success. You must have 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers in your list. I'm not talking about any subscriber. I'm talking about targeted subscribers. People you have done your uh, customer avatar and decide that, yes, these are the type of people that I need. And then you target them by giving them free, free stuff, uh, entry-level products, and so on and so forth. And they subscribe into your list. So those are the type of people you are looking for. If any of them, if, for instance, they just buy just one one dollar from you per month. You will be making ten thousand dollars, and if you can make ten thousand dollars consecutively, consecutively for three months, yes, this is what we call MRR, monthly recurring revenue. If you can make ten thousand monthly recurring revenue for three months, there is no going back. It means that you have reached the tipping point. So you must have this at the back of your mind. Have this at the back of your mind. Yes, target, even me now, I have just 3,000 subscribers. And those 3,000 subscribers are not targeted per se, of course. So I'm still in the process of building my own 10,000 subscribers. Therefore, you too must always be at, so have yourself that in the next six months, in the next one year, I would have 10,000 subscribers. And it has to be intentional. And those 10,000 subscribers will give you $10,000. Even if you want to convert this in Naira, it will give you $10,000 times the Naira equivalent. Yes, it's when you reach this point, this point of no return, that you say, yes, I have arrived. And then, uh, well, your money-making machine will now kick in. All right. So that is what I wanted to share with all of us. I said that our... Uh, meeting should not last more than one hour. We started 5.30, it's now 6.07. I have an announcement to make. And uh, the announcement is that, you know, this program is uh, how many weeks? Is this six weeks? And so our graduation ceremony, we're ending this on August 7th, which is start next Saturday, we are ending. So we have a, a kind of um, graduation ceremony on the 7th, that is next Saturday at 9.30 a.m., all right? So you have to come very, very prepared and uh, make it uh, lively. And so that is what I wanted to share. So let me go back to ID. ID, are you ready now to share with us? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, ID, you have one minute to share what you have gained so far from IBMC. Okay, I have gained a lot over the years from IBMC. 
this time around, I did tell you that I, I was very intentional. Yes. That's why I needed to come back. And um, in the past two weeks, though, I haven't really followed up. But I am still at the level that I'm, I've convinced myself yes. that I want to do this. Okay. Whether I follow bomba to bomba, but I am convinced within me that, look, I'll get to the end of this. I did also tell you, sir, some time ago about the products. But um, recently, I've been thinking of my own knowledge audit or trying to get the audit, my knowledge audit, like you just said. And gradually, I think I'm getting to that stage. Maybe it wouldn't be before the end of this course, but I'm sure even after the end of this course, I'll need to share some things with you on what I've thought of. Yeah, sure. Um, apart from that, I think I have really gained. Okay. I wouldn't need to repeat the course anymore. All right. Thank you very much for being Okay, here. so I want to commend ID. ID is a highly placed director, and uh, I, <laughs> I don't need to mention that. He's a director, and uh, she has the humility to keep learning. And uh, she, I think, I, I do, you started in IBM C2, am I right? Yes, was I it did. IBMC2, IBMC1? IBMC2. IBMC2. And she said, oh, I, I didn't gain enough. I didn't learn enough. So I want to repeat. Um, almost 15 people have repeated the course. Almost 15. Voluntarily. In fact, prof, prof repeated the course. He called me and said, Paul, I want to repeat. I was not a good student. I'm talking about Prof. Uh, Yowole. And I uh, must mention that Prof. Yowole has just been appointed um, Director General of uh, Commonwealth, uh, whatever, whatever, in Ghana. So it's, a state, it's, it's starting in, um, he sent me a message um, uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday was in Abuja, am I right? Yeah, day before yesterday. Day before yesterday, okay, yes, uh, that was a Thursday. He sent me a message on Thursday that he just been appointed uh, uh, a kind of, uh, so, some appointment. Is a, a commonwealth. Let me see what he sent me. So, Professor Wale told me that, yes, Paul, I was not a good student. I want to repeat. Okay, he's Secretary General and CEO of Association of African Universities in Accra, Ghana, from 1st October. That's what he sent me. He's one of my students. All right. So, uh, this IBMC is a high caliber uh, fraternity. And I want you to take it that. Yes, if you have passed through IBMC, it means you have passed through. Yeah, I've seen a lot of courses taking place. Um, right now, I, I'm a student of one of the highest celebrated consultants in the world, Alan Weiss. Alan Weiss. And I've also seen his IP. I've, been, I've read his book. He has written more than 45 books and so on and so forth. And he has given guidelines for what to do. And when I look at his guideline, I've passed 80% of what he recommends. And so it's, it's important it's just for, for each and every one of us to push. Look at your IP, intellectual property. How can you build it up? You will not be able to build it up. You need to start with doing knowledge audit. Everything you know, write down. You might be surprised. You might think that you don't know anything. You know a lot. I, I'm telling you, you know a lot, a lot. Only that you have not sit, sat down to document what you know that don't forget the 10 percent age you just need to know 10 percent more than your students okay so document them and then now find a way how can you repackage these things that you know in order for it to add value to other people that is the question you need to ask yourself how can i repackage what everything that i know so if you put everything that you know into product form you might be surprised that you have more than 20 products and if you put eight of them together you can have three irresistible offers. Yes, eight times three, 24. You can have, for me, I have more than three irresistible offers. In, in fact, right now, I have more than three irresistible offers and so on and so forth. So there are many things I'm trying to do to also to make some of the things that I do. So like IBMC, I do is semi, like is semi, semi manual. All right, so from the IBMC five, it will going to be autom uh, automated, just log in and learn without my intervention at all. That is, all right, so without much ado, 
if we have Can I still say something, sir? Pardon? I still want to say one more thing. Okay, go ahead, uh, Heidi. Okay, I really want to say thank you again because this time around, I have an accountability partner that <laughs> I can also learn from. Yeah, who is your accountability partner you anyway? Um, Muktao. Ah, Muktao has I, I two got accountability him partners. <laughs> yeah, I got him halfway, you yeah. know? At a point, I mean, that's, that's part of why I was laid back, I believe. Because he pushes me, he gives me a reason to push on. Okay, yeah. Not just in IBMC. I mean, we've discussed so many other things that we, I believe, yes. with time. You know, uh, Mokhtar has worked okay. in some of the global companies like uh, BAT and so on. So, so he's a well-exposed person. I learned a lot from uh, Mokhtar also. So please, never, never. It, 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 I'm, I'm glad to hear because he's also pushing uh, Udeme. Yeah, I think he's a good person. All right. So, um, any any contributions before we lock off? Yes, please, Paul. Okay. I raise my hand. Uh, is that Mukhtar? Yes, Paul. Okay, Mukhtar, go ahead. Yeah. Good, uh, good evening, ID. ID, good, good evening. evening. Good evening, How are you? Mukhtar. Very well, thank you. Well, uh, thank you uh, for that. Uh, 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 for those praises, actually, I didn't know I'd been that uh, influential, <laughs> and uh, it sent me here. Actually, you pushed me too, and uh, <laughs> thank you very much. And Paul, uh, please permit me to say uh, a thing or two to you, please, Paul. Okay. Hello, Paul. Yes, I'm here. Uh, for me, uh, I just want to. I've been thinking. Actually, I said that uh, to myself that uh, may God never give me an opportunity no matter how small to disappoint this man. <laughs> yeah, because uh, oh. when I come across you before this IBMC and all this, uh, you bring me kind of out of myself. And uh, you, uh, through you, uh, you, 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 you told me actually, uh, directly or indirectly, you told me that I can be better than what I am currently. And I always see you as a leader through your posts, personals, emails before the IBMC and up to now. That uh, my conclusion is that this man gave me a kind of leadership that uh, I was able to see uh, by words and potentials. That through that leadership, you communicated to me so clearly in a way that I understand my words and potentials and tell me that uh, I can be better, better, better than what I am. And that was why I said, I thank God that I, uh, you crossed my path. And I look forward to being with you actually beyond this ambience, beyond everything and uh, forever. <laughs> Paul, thank you very much. No, thank you. It's not, uh, it's, it's thank you. And uh, I also want to say thanks, uh, thanks to Commissioner Abu Jalal, because you are the first person that introduced us. Yes. And uh, thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. All right. So um, Jalal actually was my student when he was in uh, Echo Bank. And since we met, we became very tight. And he was kind enough to introduce me to you and you yes. to me. So it's a mutual. And I really appreciate that. Uh, yes. Thank you. Um, yes. Uh, let's just uh, keep pushing ourselves. Let's keep pushing ourselves. And um, learning is forever. Learning is forever. The day we stop learning, the day we become to start to uh, stagnate, yeah. we progress. So I want to appreciate everybody. Uh, Wumi, are you there? Yes, I'm here, sir. All right. So Wumi also sent me a text that uh, the, Wumi is uh, an ex-banker. And he said he was, uh, I was your student. I would like to, I said, Wumi, I, I, I can't even remember. You say, yes, I was your student. So everybody in IBM is somebody that I've known. So there's what they call the friendship factor in business. The more you can become friends with people, the more you can thrive. So let's just uh, never, never uh, give up in terms of adding value to ourselves and then adding value to others. Okay. FW is in a, in a position, she mentioned to me that she cannot um, speak where she, has, where she is. I'm sure that she will send me her 
private. Uh, so as I said, tomorrow, I mean, sorry, Saturday, Saturday that's coming just one week from today will be our final, uh, the end of IBM. So we need to, we'll meet 9.30 a.m. So review all the lessons, review all the lessons and the, uh, do the, the, assign the assignment is just to give you an idea. Is uh, there's no end, there's no beginning. Just keep doing them. And uh, I believe that by now you have done your, your sequence. You have not done your sequence, push yourself. You saw that uh, sequence. Somebody is selling, um, uh, is it organic chemistry? You can imagine a highly technical course and you can see how the man sold it. Yeah, so there's nothing you cannot really sell online. You have not gone through that email sequence that I sent you the, the, the case study. Please go through it and, and uh, see how you can also model what you want to sell. Uh -huh. Because when you send a mail to somebody once, most people don't even have time to open it. You send it twice, you send it three times, you send it four times, you send it five times, you send it six times. All right, so people in your, your mailing list, if you send it to 100 people, at least 20 will open it and so on and so forth. So that's why sequence is very good, but it's an advanced tactics. For now, you can just develop a small product that you can monetize for 25K, 20K, and to recover your this thing, you can, and so on and so forth. So without much ado, let's, we can call it a day for today, all right? All right, Mukta, so we call it a day. Okay, Paul. All right, so thank you so much for joining. We are only five out of uh, 19 people. It's always like that. So yes. um, I did thank you for follow, uh, uh, tuning in from Abuja. Um, Mukta from Zaria, uh, yes. FW from Lagos, and Wumi from Lagos. Thank you so, so much, and God bless you. Thank you. Bluetooth mode. Okay, I actually was trying to play music, but it refused to play, so um, we just end it there.